Now, just a little bit of background um, about Olga, if you haven't met her before. Olga was born in Silesia, in Western Poland, and she's lived in Warsaw, in Wroclaw, you may know that as Breslau, and in Krakow. And for over a decade, she also lived in a very small village uh, near Novaruda. And the reason I tell you that uh, I locate all these uh, towns and villages, because land and territory and home are very important to Olga and to all, in, in all her writing, her poetry, her fiction and her essays. And we're going to talk about the novels primarily. And um, the very first novel was um, nearly 20 years ago now. And I wonder why you left Olga. A very unusual, very special, very wonderful job. Olga was um, a psychotherapist, a Jungian psychotherapist before she became a writer mm -hmm. and then you turn to poetry first of all and fiction why did you stop that job and then start writing <laughs> much less um, <laughs> much less easy to earn a earn living bardzo często zdarzało mi się kiedy pracowałam z własnymi pacjentami um, something that very often happened to me when i was working with my own patients że próbowałam złapać ich za rękaw i, i, i Próbować im opowiadać sama o osobie, o własnym I kept trying to grab them by the sleeve and tell them all about myself and about my own dreams. To, to mnie się śniło, to się ze mną dzieje. What dreams I'd had and what had been happening to me. Pomyślałam, że to nie jest dobra pozycja do psychoterapii. But I don't really think that's the right approach for a psychotherapist. I myślę, że dobrze dla tych moich pacjentów, że zajęłam się pisaniem. But I think it's probably a good thing for my patients that I took up writing instead. Ale rzeczywiście m, psychologia była dla mnie y, dobrym treningiem, do, dobrą szkołą do pisania. But in fact, of course, psychology was very good training, training, a good school for me as a writer. Kiedy byłam w szkole średniej, odkryłam, wtedy w Polsce zaczął się, zaczęto publikować pisma Freuda. Um, when I was at high school, um, that was when um, they started publishing Freud in Poland and I discovered his work. Kiedy przeczytałam wtedy poza zasadą przyjemności, nie wiem to powiedzieć. Um, when I read uh, Freud's book Beyond the, um, somebody help me here with the title, Beyond the oh, Reality, thank you. Um, it's probably one of the shelf. <laughs> Przeżyłam szok, dlatego że sobie uświadomiłam, że właściwie wszystko można zinterpretować. I had quite a shock because I became aware of the fact that absolutely everything can be interpreted. Każde zdarzenie z naszego życia, każdy fenomen w rzeczywistości. Every event in our life, every phenomenon within reality, within everyday life. I pomyślałam sobie, że literatura jest najlepszym sposobem właśnie jakby pociągnięcia tej myśli dalej. And I realized that literature was really the very best um, vehicle for taking this whole concept further. Po drugie jeszcze, Lozi, chciałam Pomyślałam sobie, że praca z pacjentami nauczyła mnie, mnie słuchać historii ludzi. I also through um, listening to my patients, I learned how to listen to people's stories. No, każdy, każdy klient, każdy pacjent był taką powieścią do napisania. Every single patient represented a story to be written. I mean, combined with the fact that you were uh, coming to this as a psychotherapist, coming to writing as a psychotherapist, you were also writing in the new Poland. I mean, your first book, which your first novel, Journey of the Book Seekers, which was, again, you seem to set your style, having the myths and the archetypes and the semi-real world. Um, and you had some very unusual characters. You had, it was set in France and Spain, and you had a dog searching for a book hidden in the Pyrenees. It sounds a bit bad, but you did seem to set your style very early on. It must have been quite a surprise to Polish readers to have that kind of writing you know, in those early days of independence, because I know, you know, for a fact, there was a lot of, um, you know, very, a, lot, a lot of journalism, a lot of very serious documentaries and realism. People really wanted to have mm -hmm. facts and mm -hmm. um, they wanted truths to be exposed. So you came in with imagination and mythical characters and a very different world. Ale myślę, że to było charakterystyczne dla mojego pokolenia, które zaczęło pisać właśnie w, w okolicach 89 roku, czyli roku przełomu. But I think that was fairly typical for my own generation of writers who started writing in that watershed time in 1989 onwards. Wszyscy mieliśmy dość polityki, wszyscy mieliśmy dość jakby takiego w 
We'd all had enough of politics. We'd all had enough of being pushed into and being forced to be involved in politics. Dlatego to moje pokolenie na początku 90. lat odwróciło się w stronę prywatności w literaturze. So that's why my generation in the early 1990s turned towards <coughs> private matters in literature, towards personal things. Mm -hmm. Ale już nie zaraz po 10 latach okazało się, że nie da się tak pisać. But then 10 years beyond it turned out that you, you couldn't keep on writing like that. Że to co się dzieje w kraju też wymaga pewnych wyborów, pewnych określenia swojego światopoglądu. But um, what was happening in the country did demand certain choices and um, expressions of one's own view. I też w tym kierunku rozwija, rozwija się to, co pisze. And that's what I've write has developed in, in that direction. In fact, um, Olga has become quite uh, prominent in public life in Poland as well. She's, uh, she's written journalistic pieces, and most recently about um, the, the tragedy in, in Katyn as well. And it's an extraordinary piece of journalism in the New York Times, which Antonio translated. If you get a chance to read it, um, it's very powerful indeed. I'm sure you can still find it on the New York Times website. Um, and it's probably on Google as well. But it's about, it's about um, you, you're very critical of the, the, this collective national mourning, although you yourself said, of course, it was a tragedy. Just tell us very briefly about that, because I think it is a fascinating issue for you as also as a writer. Tak, mój artykuł był swego rodzaju sprzeciwem wobec jakby narzuconej czy obowiązującej w, w Polsce katolicko-nacjonalistycznej formie wspólnego przeżywania. Um, yes, what I wrote in my article was raised an objection to the enforced Catholic nationalist form of shared mourning that was imposed in Poland. Po prostu wiele, wielu z Polaków uświadomiło sobie wtedy, że nie, nie wypracowaliśmy sobie innych alternatywnych wspólnych sposobów przeżywania. I mój artykuł włączył się też do dyskusji, która bardzo żywo w Polsce się teraz rozpoczęła nad właśnie tym tematem. And uh, my article joined in with a debate that is now very much alive in Poland on this particular topic. Now, I, I, yeah, I, the reason I bring this up too, because I think everything you write does actually come into this idea of you're always looking at Poland in some form, in all your writing. And of course, in Primeval, which is the first novel we want to talk about, this is again, Misha, you have this small village, it's called Primeval, it's called, um, in Polish, it's Flaviek. And it is a fictitious village, but it is a microcosm for Poland, it's a microcosm for the whole universe, it turns out in the end. But, um, this was published in Polish in 1996 and has only just been published um, in English. So it's a 13-year gap. It must feel very strange for you as a writer, Olga, to have uh, such a long gap between a book which was very successful in Poland and now, well, you never know, hopefully it'll be successful here. But it is. it must be strange for you mentally to, to look at this book again and to remember how you felt then. Tak, to on, ta książka jest y, takim, y, taką, jakby to powiedzieć, jakby dzieciństwem mojego pisania, o tak bym powiedziała. Yeah. This book, um, I'm not quite sure how to put this, this is what Olga said, is um, perhaps my juvenilia. <laughs> well, ale, juvenilia, I mean. <laughs> ale to jest też książka, która weszła w, w świadomość Polaków. Mogę się tylko pochwalić, że Prawiek jest książką, z której, która jest na liście lektur obowiązkowych i w tym roku była pisana matura. Um, this book has somehow entered into the consciousness of the um, Polish public and she's very proud to say that it's um, now on the reading list for schools, for high schools and this year for the first time the school students writing their um, matura, which is the final qualifying exams you do in Poland, a bit like our A-levels, um, uh, were writing essays about this book. To jest dobre dla pisarza, bo to znaczy, że musi być ta książka w każdej bibliotece szkolnej. It's very good because it, for a writer, because it means that the book has to be in every single school library. 